Hi, welcome everyone. Today we are going to estimate quantile ADL model in our studio and this model will be used for research purposes and hopefully you will understand and you will be able to recreate this model in your projects. So first of all we will start with its uh, why it is necessity and when it is required. So this uh, quantile ADL model has three sections. First is AR component. It describes the past effect of dependent variable. So first of all, you need to find how many past effects you need. So second, there's a DL component that is that describes the present and past values of independent variable. So when you need when you need to estimate, you need to find how many past values you need. Then there's a quantile regression. It describes the central tendency. Uh, model uh, so just like OLS it has, which has a central tendency of you mean as a mean is used as a central tendency but in quantile regression you can use median or any any other percentile value so to make it robust so it is used when when variables are usually not normal okay so hopefully we will understand this model now so now we'll go towards R studio so this is the R, R module and we can see the codes here so today we are doing one more thing so there is uh, this command used in the top and this command used at the end so this is uh, this uh, dots are uh, are below the escape sign and this R so this this is actually the R markdown uh, uh, so that uh, this will help you to present, make a, a presentable version of your code I will show you later on in uh, what is the purpose of this command so first first of all we will discuss the libraries that are important first is a quant mod is a library to access online data so just an example so if you access its uh, help module you can see it has the stock market data that you can use for your examples then there is a quant regression this is for quant regression then forecast which is used to create the lag function then read excel to read excel files then tidyverse for data manipulation then uh, past text for data descriptives and gg pub r is for uh, normality plots this is a command to read uh, excel file so df is a data file name equal to read excel and then the directory of the data file so when i execute these so all the libraries are loaded and then when i run this so my data file has been read so this for data file include years uh, agriculture gdp industry rail road sea services air so it's a sample data set okay now what we'll do is we'll calculate the log variable using mutate command then we calculate lag of GDP, lag of log of GDP. Then we calculate uh, lag of one of the independent variables that is industrialization. So now we can, after the variables are created, you can also generate descriptive stats. So this now, of, because you have used this R R command here, so now the output will not be shown below. It will be shown below the. Uh, shaded region so you can see it's now it, it's in a better tabulated form rather than if you have used this command below what you have done see you, you can see it's it's not ma managed in a table form it's just pasted in a text form but if you use it in, in the shaded region it makes it a table and then you can properly you see previous and uh, forward sheets and this way it's properly managed and then you can easily download it copy it in, the, in your excel rather than this file where it is, can only be copied in the word file and you have to make a table yourself so this way you can see all the variables have what are what are the indicators they have used they are uh, number of values number of null number of not available minimum maximum range some median and um, mean and standard mean now you can see for the gdp the mean and the, the median and mean are not same so data is not normal so now we can use is the gg gg plot gg qq plot for gdp 
so when I plot it so usually the plot if you make it it, it is shown here but if you use it in a shaded region it is shown below it so it, it is making a report so here you can see it's a it looks like normal because all the dots are in shaded region but for the independent variable few few dots are outside like this one so it looks like it's not normal but if you need to confirm it we can use the Shapiro test Shapiro test is saying variable GDP is normal but the industrialization is not normal so it means we need to go for uh, the the quantile regression but we need to go for the ARDL model of quantile so in, the, in this command this is quantile regression is equal to RQ okay regression quantile LGDB dependent variable L, L dot LGDB is the AR function industrialization is uh, dependent variable and L dot industrial is a lag of industrialization then tau is 0.5 means median when you estimate it it is stored in the uh, data mod model data frame and when you summarize it it shows the model so lag of GDP is 0 0.98 and because the lower and upper bound does not have a zero so it means it is significant then industrialization is negative but it does, its upper and lower bound has a zero in it so it's insignificant similarly lag of industrialization is also insignificant so this was an example model but in your in real life you can you can add more lags or you can add more lags just just create more lags from here so n is equal to 2 l so if you can calculate 2 l it will go to second lag Similarly, if to 2L for GDP, you can add more lags and or further you can add more variables. Maybe you can like add uh, DF dollar uh, L dot e -G -R -G -R -I is equal to lag DF dollar e -G -R -I n is equal to 1 l so you are also calculating 1 lag so you can add this, this variable here that is a a g r i plus l dot a g r i so now you can estimate it again and you can summarize it has two more variables now you can see the a g r i and lag of a g r is also insignificant but this way I have shown you how to add variable now if you want to check if how, if your model uh, estimates are sensitive to uh, the the percentile value so we are estimating model same model above but now all percentile values from 0 0.5 to 95 by jumping 0 0.5 so it will calculate several points uh, in quantile regression then if you summarize it it will show all the regressions from 0 0.5 0 0.10 Point 0.15, point 0.20, point 0.25 up till point 0.95 but if you ask, ask them to plot it so if you plot it and you go here you can see the intercept is changing a lot because of the change in percentile the lag GDP is also changing a lot the industrialization is changing lag weight. so this way you can see how the other coefficients are sensitive to percentile values so, so if your data is for uh, it's a panel data and it has low income group and high income group so using the percentile you will say that the, the coefficient for low income group is different and for rich income group is different but since it's a time series data we can we can talk about that the when the GDP is low its effect is this and when the GDP is high its effect is this so where when GDP is very high the lag is actually reducing the the present value so this is actually talking about the law of diminishing returns so it's if GDP is too high then the new GDP is not higher than the previous one but rather it will become uh, slow down so it has a negative effect so this was a tutorial that talks about uh, quantile ARDL model hopefully you you understood the uh, discussion I, I I treated all the commands that are being used so that you can just uh, re repeat these commands in your own R module and you can recreate your own output. Thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe.